Hello Scapers, and in this particular video, my fellow Skillers and Peers, 9HP here. Now as some of you may recall, I released a video a year ago titled, Jagex Considers Combat Reset and XP Blocks, which I will link in the description below. In that video, Mod Stu and the Skiller community opened up a discussion through Discord to come up with a healthy solution to go about implementing the reset and XP block update. And after many weeks of debate, a mostly mutual conclusion was made and Mod Stu then planned a meeting with the combat devs to discuss the possibility of how to go about implementing this system. Fast forward a year later and this update is officially coming on March 27th, 2023. So, uh, first we will go over how to reset your combat XP and block future XP from being gained, followed by a controversial overview on why it is the majority of the same skiller peer community that assisted in formatting this update are now expressing mostly negative feedback of concerns towards it and the long-term effects it could have on the game, along with my personal views on the matter. So with that, let's dive into the video. So now that the reset and block system is now live, we're going to go over the steps needed to go about implementing these onto your account if you wish to do so. So first off, you will want to go to Nastroth in the Lumbridge Courtyard and talk to him to see the new options, in which he will show these four options. Tell me about yourself, I want to block XP from a specific skill, let's talk about skill resets, and I want to prove I've never used an XP block slash reset. So starting with, I want to block XP from a specific skill. Now even though this update was made more for skillers and pure builds, as you can see here, any skill can be blocked from gaining XP. So essentially somebody could create an account with all level 1 stats, block every skill, until they achieve the Jack of All Trades title by still doing the skills to get every single skilling pet. But on a more lighter view, if you're an OSAT skiller or just somebody who wants to save up a bunch of 98 skills to have a massive party, then this is definitely for you. So for the sake of this video, we're going to click Constitution, which is actually the one skill that cannot be blocked. And as you can see, and this would apply for any skill you select, you can only block blank XP from rewards such as quest lamps and completing daily challenges. Be warned that you'll still get Constitution XP from combat. The reason being is to prevent skiller builds from using combat after blocking all of these stats to obtain unfair rewards that do not apply to a skiller slash pure build, or would otherwise break the integrity of it. However, for the next six months, you will see why this is somewhat a problem. As we move on to our next option, let's talk about skill resets. So for the next six months, the Constitution and Prayer major reset will remain here. For those who do not recall, with the Evolution of Combat update, Constitution and Prayer was able to be leveled without counting towards combat levels. So most skillers at the time added Constitution and Prayer to their list of skiller skills to raise, only for a later EOC update to come out and bring Constitution and Prayer back to your total level, and therefore ruining a level 3 skiller. So to prevent that, the major Constitution and Prayer update was added to the game, but as players have had so many years to apply this, it will be getting removed due to this more convenient setup of options. Now while defense also did the same, many players leveled this as the incentive back then with the updates very much incentivized leveling defense for major goals. Now before we get into one skill of my choice minor, we should understand the differences. So major means you can reset it at any level. If your prayer and constitution were level 99, you would set them back to 1 as where a minor reset can only apply to a combat skill that is under 9 or lower, with the exception of Constitution, which can be level 15 or lower. Hence why during this grace period of the 6 months, this major reset can be abused. To obtain boss pets, quests that would otherwise not be completable, collecting skill pets, and many more other clever things that players are coming up with to abuse this before those ideas are discontinued with this major reset in 6 months. So now if you're a skiller who's accidentally gained some combat levels under 9 or under 15 in constitution, instead of feeling like you ruined your skiller, you'd be able to select this option of one skill of my choice minor that you could use to reset that combat stat back to level 1 or level 10 with constitution or even 9 constitution if your account's old enough. And lastly, I want to prove I've never used an XP block slash reset. So as many of the skiller slash peer community is starting to see this update as adding training wheels, so to speak, to a skiller build, they've allowed us this option to prove that we've never abused or used XP blocks or resets in any way ever. 
And as you see when you click it, if you choose to enable proof and a player examines your skill, the tooltip for your combat level will display the following information. This player has never blocked XP, blocked reward XP, or reset a specific skill. Followed by would you like to enable proof. Now this one I do want to go ahead and do, and I will show you the screenshot where this shows exactly what was just said about not using blocks or resets. Using one of the skill blocks or resets will require a 7 day grace period for you to wait before implementing it, in which you will come back to Nastroth in 7 days and reconfirm your decision. This prevents somebody from logging into your account and simply trying to ruin a build or reset something that you otherwise would not have wanted. For instance, this player right here with 16 combat. Now as we can see, he is a prayer peer, but accidentally gained summoning XP, causing him to be level 16 instead of 15. Now while he is likely here to use Nastroth to reset his summoning back to 1, he will be required to wait those 7 days, after which he will come back to Nastroth and confirm it, in which after, this would show level 1, and this would be back to 15. Unless of course he chose to also reset prayer with the major reset, in which this would go back down to level 1. But let's say this was 6 months from now, since this is past level 9, he would not be able to use the major reset to reset it, and in that lies both a solution and quite a few problematic issues. Now, I personally both like and dislike this controversial update. On one hand, I am genuinely happy for ruined skillers to have the opportunity to fix their mistake and continue playing the style they enjoy, and as somebody who has personally gained combat levels that ruin 9 HP at one point, I truly do know just how horrible a feeling it is to put years of work into something for it to be ruined in a single minute by a mistake, or bug in my particular case. Now, the argument could be made that choosing to play as a skiller or specific pure build is a part of having to play the game without using more efficient methods that combat builds would otherwise be able to do. And as such, the risk of gaining unwanted combat XP is an integral part of choosing a skiller pure build in the first place to most. This is why I really like that Jagex has implemented the option to show that you have never used blocks or resets, as it allows for this to still remain true. The problem, however, comes with the major resets that will remain in-game for the next half year, as major resets do not flag as having used a reset before. This in turn gives incentive and allows skillers to do as much combat as they wish for quests, kill counts, access to otherwise non-accessible areas, along with collecting skilling and boss pets, so long as they use the major constitution reset on their HP before September 18th when it will be removed, which definitely feels overlooked to me. And as the evolution of combat was well over a half decade ago, I believe the major reset should have been removed long ago. But for it to now be mixed with a new reset slash block system, it's creating several abusable methods that has the majority of the skiller community very concerned, as you can see on this Discord discussion that's been highly controversial since Mod Stu made the announcement official. Now at this point, I'd like to take a moment on behalf of myself and the majority of the Skiller and Pure community in expressing our deepest gratitude to Mod Stu for not only giving us a voice, but for spending over a year working with our community to go about finding the best common ground on how to implement this update instead of just implementing it without question like most of RS3 updates. Just from me personally, I truly thank you Mod Stu and really do appreciate all the work you've done, along with the Jagex team who heard Mod Stu out and tried doing right by our community. It truly does mean a lot. Speaking of which, Mod Stu presented the idea to the combat devs, and after about a half a year, he returned to the Discord to announce to us that the update had been approved, but was instantly met with skillers expressing mostly negative feedback of concerns, which prompt Mod Stu to reply with saying that I thought this was what you guys wanted. So, after talking with Holy Grail, who paid close attention to their concerns in the Discord, we came to some plausible conclusions as to why the majority of the same Skiller Pure community that assisted in formatting this update are now expressing mostly negative feedback towards it. We found that the majority of people that had been invited to the Discord discussion were friends that had quit due to ruining their Skillers, who, rightfully so, are instantly going to vote for this update. Now, the issue seems to surface when looking at the number of votes themselves, which was around 60 to 70 in favor on the various polls. Yet when we took into account the major skiller clans and adding the total amount of active players in these particular clans, we found that there was an estimated 2,000 plus skillers and peers amongst the RS3 community that had their decision made for them by less than 1 20th of the actual population of the community itself. 
Now, it is worth noting, we have no one to blame but ourselves, as it is our duty to do the proper research. And, I would advise that all players do their due diligence to have a voice in these matters. While I do believe the modern version of the game should have a pull system implemented like the old version of the game, I do believe that Mod Stu did all that he could with the info we gave him, and it was no longer in his control once the dev team took over the approval. My personal opinion is that the minor reset system in itself is a very good solution to the goal of resetting an accidentally ruined skill, as it can't be abused when you can't pass level 9 in combat skills and level 15 for constitution, which seems more than fair for almost all situations, as it's hard to get past level 9 from a single mistake. Now where I think this update became more controversial is when it comes to the XP block factor, mixed in with keeping the major prayer and constitution resets from EOC. If stats could be blocked, then they could not be abused. And while Constitution still can't be blocked, it is already causing major abuse that undermines the update's integral purpose since players can block XP and all other combat stats and then simply use the major Constitution reset before the 6 month grace period to reset back to their starting levels. Hence why I believe the OC Prayer and Constitution reset should have been removed years ago, or at the very least, removed with the implication of this new reset system. And as the major resets do not flag the proof system, major achievements will become highly devalued. In cases of hybrid builds like the hardcore Iron Man peer named Garcia, who obtained 200 mil constitution without gaining any other levels in combat, will become all but obsolete in time. Yet both I and Garcia himself do understand that this update can't satisfy everyone, and as these rare hybrid peer builds make up such a small percentage, you ultimately have to do what's best for the overall masses, which beyond my concerns above, I feel has been done rather well by Jagex. However, if there is any major abuses that any of you find that I did not say in this video, please post them in the comments below. I hope you found this video both helpful and informative on this update. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments or message me in-game on 9HP Jr. by joining my clan chat as a guest and safe spot. Happy scaping and happy resets my fellow skillies. 9HP out.